Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. And uh, let's see, new chapter. Chapter 11. Alright, we're getting close to the time skip, guys. Now, funnily enough, I don't have any clue what our new DLC characters look like in the, after the time skip. I'm excited to see Part them. One. Got a little, little further to clubs. go. And we Pegasus have a lot of paralogs. Throne of Knowledge. A lot of paralogs. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. Oh, betrayal is imminent. Betrayal is imminent. Prepare. Prepare yourselves, everybody. It's coming. It's coming. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? And everybody's it, read his diary. He stated the reason for his <laughs> departure. Claude and The baby it. thought to have died in the fire has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Setteth, enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. A revelation? The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. Do you think it wise to bring them into this? It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. Isn't that too dangerous? The Holy Tomb is a sacred temple that is sealed off from the rest of the world. There is nothing to fear. Even if something <laughs> were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. That is the truth. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. 
Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Rhea and Sedith were not their usual selves. What happened to Teach that's questionable? And what really awaits at the Holy Tomb? Spine the way again, they were we? acting, I don't think they have any plans of sharing that information. Hilda's birthday? Okay, let's host a tea party. Hell yeah. Okay, what does she like? Okay, she likes the Albinian Berry Bend. Blend. Mint Leafs, Southern Fruit Blend, and Rose Petal Blend. So let's go with this. We have two of them anyway. Hello! Thanks for inviting me. Whoa! You've got my favorite tea! Oh, wow! Thanks! So delish. Huh? Um... Counting on you or reliable allies? Reliable allies. Wow! Yep. Ideal professor? Mmm, shareable snacks? Shareable snacks. Wow! Huh? A place you'd like to visit? That is correct. Okay. No matter what happens in this crazy world, I know I'll be safe if I stay by your side. Nod. <laughs> Thanks for the tea. I hope you'll invite me again. You bet, girl. Now, I don't remember her post time skip design either. I mean, we only got to see it, what, maybe twice, really quickly, in our last runs? Well, between three runs, we probably saw it at least three times, but... Okay, we need to do some... Ah, uh, fine. If we can get Charm for Byleth, then it's worth it, right? Okay. Hanuman, tea time. Alright, buddy. What do you like? Sweet apple, honeyed fruit, bergamot, and cinnamon. Do we have sweet? We do have sweet apple. My room works better for me, but I am willing to compromise for today. My, but you have exquisite taste in tea. This is one of my favorites. I know, I Google try told to keep me. Some around. Thank you. Will you drink some? Indeed. Um, past laughs, most likely. Well then. Indeed. You seem well? Yep. Well then. What? Past laughs again. <laughs> <laughs> Never had a Don't double up like that. Later. I'd very much like to dive into some research together. Commend. Indeed. Thank you for a one. All right, we got our charm. All right, we need to do a check and see how many paralogs we have. Um, we can do three per weekend. Um, we also unlocked Enlightened One. I think we're Assassin right now, so we'll stay in Assassin. What? A new really? Path You're going to do it automatically? All right, we'll, we'll change it back. I want to finish Assassin first, then we'll go to Enlightened One, and then we'll continue working on getting her towards a flying class as well. So... Let's see here, what was I? Oh yeah, we need to check our paralog stuff. So we only have three weekends. Let's save real quick on new new line. We'll do our supports here in a second, but let's just check this out. Okay, cool, so we can explore this weekend, good. So we'll be able to complete all of these. What we're gonna do is we're gonna explore this weekend. We'll do three battles this weekend and the 
Yeah, yeah, we'll do three here and the other three, another three here. Maybe here we'll do that rare monster sighting since we only have five paralogs. So we'll do two paralogs, rare monster sighting, and then here we'll do the last three paralogs. That's probably what we'll end up doing. Felix's birthday. Two instructions. Okay. I guess that's what we're doing. Let's go ahead and check out our supports. Um, yes, finally. I've never seen this one. Hello there. I've been waiting for you. If you would, please allow me a closer look at your face. Those beautiful shining eyes and silken hair so similar to my own. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> oh dear, please excuse my rudeness. I forgot myself for a moment. It is only that we haven't had a chance to speak privately since you were blessed with the power of the goddess. I hope I have not caused you any discomfort. Not at all, daughter. In that case, I hope you will allow me to behold your sweet face again in the future. It is my dearest wish that we may strengthen the bonds between us further still. Our bonds? Yes. As souls blessed by a connection to the progenitor god, the bonds between us are truly unbreakable. Just as the goddess blessed you with her own power, I too received her divine protection long, long ago. Though different, our fates are entwined. I don't understand. Please explain to me in great detail the entire history and story of this world. She's just gonna do it. Yes, I am certain there is much <laughs> you still don't understand. Just know that truth has a way of revealing itself in time. If you experience any further changes, please know that you can rely on me to guide you. Sedith and Plain are also here to support you however they can. Dear child, may the goddess protect you always. Oh, it's kind of a short one, huh? Yeah, we've never gotten that one before. We missed it in the last route, which was kind of sad. Um, was that the only one? That might be the only one. Okay. All right. I don't remember if anybody has certifications right now. While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to reclass by left. It's time. Oh, lovely. Okay. Give me just one second. I need to go and get a, uh, a charging pack for this. Okay, now that my uh, controller isn't going to die. All right, we're actually very close to mastering Assassin. So yeah, we're definitely completing that. The mastery for that's very good. Okay, let's look on this screen. You're working on Brigand. Cool, I'm okay with that. You're probably getting close to that, Claude. Yep, you're staying right where you're at. <laughs> That's right, Leone. I knew there was somebody, I just couldn't remember who. Leone needs to try and class again. Ooh, you finished yours. Good. So Sylvain will change his. Leone, we need to try to reclass. How close are you on Assassin? You got a little while. Okay. Well? Okay, Leone. I think it's what, like a 40 something? Yeah, 44. Let's give it a shot. Nope. Okay, we'll reload. Okay. Nothing else to do but explore, so let's go. I can't hear Sothis' voice anymore.
Oh. Hey, you, listen up. I've got something to report. You look different. And you're acting different. You're just all around different. Shaking things <laughs> up, are we? Yes. I think that's great. Gotta keep things interesting, right? For what it's worth, it's a good look, and you wear it well. Sir, are you aware that you phased into this world halfway through our conversation? I get it. Got a shady offer from somebody well dressed. Noble's lapdog, probably. There was a big sack of coin on offer, but not a lot of real info about the job. It seemed suspicious, so I turned it down. Now I wonder if that was a mistake. Hmm. Could that be like Lord Arendelle or something? Seems that the rumors of you receiving the goddess's power were true. But you're still you, obviously. Yes, I'm still me. Good. It would be a shame if you changed into someone I didn't like. <laughs> it's clear to me, at least, that you are something more than you were. Something special. Yeah, yeah. I just hope this newfound specialness doesn't spell trouble for the rest of us. Um, I think all of these are Church Saros people because they weren't around last month. Got a bunch of them though. Okay, anybody over on this end? Can't be. Hey pal, how are you holding up? The human body is strong, but we all have our limits. Even folks who fraternize with the goddess. How was she, by the way? A real knockout, yeah? <laughs> she was a child. Really? Huh, that's a letdown. That is the right answer, Balthus. You passed the test. You can stay on the team. Well, in any <laughs> case, we have our work cut out for us. No telling what they're planning next. Test passed, Balthus. Things certainly have changed lately. Not that I mind. Or perhaps the only thing that's different is how you look. Or has your personality changed too? I'm more talkative now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cute. Glad you're able to joke around at least. Makes me less concerned about you. Well, whatever the case, I still like you just the same as I always have. Thank you, Yuri. Armor Slayer. That may be one of the better items that we've gotten from that heap. Look at you! Listen, all sorts of folks wind up in this place for all sorts of reasons. Nobody's judging. Did your voice just change between two different lines? Or am I imagining things? Whatever happened to you doesn't make one bit of difference to any of these people. I am grateful. All right, I'm thinking Leone right now because we're trying to get her classed. We need to uh, train her an axe, and so we're going to be working on that a little bit to get her into the, her wyvern class. Ooh, that's quite the difference. We might have to reload this one. Oh, it's evening out a little. Come on! All right, this might be enough. Nope, she went over. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Bye. 
it is. Cage the wild boar. Look, he's losing his grip. Even in his swordplay, he's getting sloppy. If he keeps progressing like this, he's going to get himself killed. Kranya, Solon, they're dead, but we still have a glut of enemies. We still have to take down the Death Knight and the Flame Emperor. Our next battle is fast approaching. I'm ready for it. You know, Felix, you're not even wrong. He would end up dead if it weren't for this guy right here. They do. You're a goddamn national treasure. Professor, please. If he hears it from you that he needs to rest, perhaps his highness will listen. He's exaggerating. He thinks my color is off and that rest will cure all. I have a headache, but that's just from lack of sleep. It's not going to stop me from completing this month's mission. God, I love these two. Don't overexert yourself, Dimitri. I must insist. Who do you think you are? I can take care of myself to do. Hey. You watch your tone with Daydu there, Dimitri. Dude's gonna save your bacon. Say, in town earlier, there seemed to be more people around than usual. Is there some festival this month that I'm forgetting about? More people in town than usual. Well, we know what happens at the end of this month. It's, uh... It's got to be uh, soldiers from the Empire coming for Edelgard. Uh, let's see, an advance seal? Nah. Whoa. You look so different. You're still our professor in there, right? Did anything else change besides your hair and eyes? Are your arms bigger? <laughs> How do your abs look? Oh, I've changed quite a bit. You should see those abs. Really? You gotta teach me how to do that. <laughs> Roth, you're great. What a good dude. Okay. Hey there. Not a lot of items to pick up this month. Oh. Whoops, almost forgot about Bernie. So hungry. Oh. Is that you, Professor? Sorry. I'm really not feeling well this month. Even leaving my room for dinner is just too much. It's got nothing to do with your, um, changes. So, um, don't open the door, please. You scared me, Bernie. What the? Uh, so, this month's mission is to take part in a ritual at the Holy Tomb where you will receive a revelation from the goddess herself. What if she really appears? What if I finally get to gaze upon her radiance? I've always imagined the goddess, how beautiful she must be. Once again, still a child. Speed carrot, okay. We got a lot of yellow flowers, don't we? Huh? I can't even imagine what it must be like inside the holy tomb. Well, it's probably a grave, that much is for sure. And it's likely underground. Beyond that, who knows? I can't help but wonder, though, just what kind of ritual is this? Okay, nobody's up in the dorms. Hey! Professor, I'm Bridget. We have legends, stories containing people who have a spirit living inside of them. Those spirit people have much strength, 
they are maybe able to fly in the air or race across the ocean. Hair that shines and eyes that glow. They have qualities that are not unlike what you are looking like, Professor. Hmm, perhaps. Do not have doubt, Professor. The powers you have are like the powers of the legends. Okay, something we need to do is buy a oh. bunch of, um... Greetings, Professor! Nothing to report. Blacksmith items. Although, I suppose... Smithing you stones. You are something to report. For a moment, I thought you were someone suspicious. Lucky for you, I am quite perceptive. <laughs> it took only that single moment for me to recognize you. <laughs> Good job, Gatekeeper. The professor went out and got some new power. Hello there. This one, yes? I thank you. Return soon, please. Okay. All right, let's rob our shopkeepers Hello there. and move on. You there. I recently had an errand to run, and so I had to pass by the office. I didn't mean to, but I overheard Lady Rhea and Sedith arguing. Actually, it was more like Sedith was interrogating Lady Rhea. Ooh, look at this little gossip right here. People who live an inordinately long time, people whose hair changes color, and those odd heroes relics. Is Fodlan some mystical land full of inhuman creatures? Where's the line where I can say, girl, you're an inhuman creature with all that beauty? <laughs> Is the world different outside Fodlan? You should see for yourself. I do like Shamir. I'd recommend exploring West. I should marry her. In in a run sometime, someday. Um, one of these has gotta be yours. Animal bone dice, right? Thanks. Yeah. How Nothing else, right? It's not it's not mine. It's not it's it's not mine. Introduction to magic, that one's for Aloise. Noseless puppet, wood carving, so that's for um why am I blinking on his name? Um, I can see him in my mind's eye, Annie's dad, and I just completely blinked on his name because I'm an idiot. Um, anyway, uh, a well-loved book of children's fables. Oh, that's Sedith. And balance scale. Someone in need of accuracy? I don't know who that one's for. Maybe that one's also Sedith? Seems unlikely, right? Hey there. Those students of yours will soon graduate and become unreachable royalty and nobility. You should show them respect now, or you might find yourself out of a job someday. <laughs> no. One look at your students' faces, and it's apparent that would never happen. Even when your kids graduate, I bet they'll still think fondly of you. You'll always be professor to them. It's a very nice thing to say, honestly. Weathered cloak belongs to someone who battles enemies outdoors. A jar containing oil for weapon maintenance, someone who collects weapons. I think that Petra was over here last month, maybe? Dictionary of a foreign language translations. Okay, so that one's Petra. Huh? Afraid of lightning. Is that Annie? You're so strong now. I'm starting to understand why you were appointed professor. I thought I was stronger, but I still have such a long way to go. You'd better not go easy on me. I need your training to be strict if I'm going to get any better. Hi. Good deal. Hey, Professor. You seem... different. Lots of things seem... different around here lately. I've noticed it. Have you? You're not the scales, are you? Thanks. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Oh. 
I don't know why she even has lost items, though, considering she doesn't uh, have a support at all. I'm still a little disappointed about that. They really should have given her some hmm. support. At least with Byleth. Let me Gilbert, that's your name. <laughs> I find myself thinking I should leave Garrick Mock and return to my home, where I should have been all alone. You know, my daughter's here, so I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I won't stop you. I hear that Lady Rhea will accompany you for this month's Worst task. Dad. <laughs> She's the pillar that supports the hearts of Fodland's people. Her safety is paramount. I hope there are no complications. No, nope. not that. Um, Nozel's puppet. Ah. Uh, no. <sighs> Monica. No, Kranya. Kranya is dead. And so is Solon, by your hand. Taking vengeance with your own hand. I'm sure Gerald would be proud. What? When you changed, even the other professors were taken completely by surprise. There's a ritual at the Holy Tomb this month, isn't there? I wonder what'll happen with that. I'm sure you'll be alright. But don't lose sight of who you really are, okay? However you may change, and whatever new power goes along with those changes, you'll still be the same person deep down. Remember that. That's uh, Ingrid. Grounding charm, afraid of lightning. Okay, that's not Annie then, because it's uh, Black Eagles. Foreign language, Petra. Okay. In our battle last month, we really cut the enemy down to size. But there are other enemies we have yet to hunt down, not least the Flame Emperor. Once we've crushed them all, we can return to our peaceful lives at the monastery. It will happen soon. I have a feeling something big is coming. Oh, you're not wrong about that, girl. You are not wrong about that. Oh, this is mine. Thanks, I'm glad to have it back. Right. Right, right. Belongs to a female noble, cute hedgehog. That one might be Annie. Whoa, when I first saw you, Professor, with that hair color and that eye color, I thought you looked kind of like Lady Rhea. Like maybe you could be related. I'm her mom. I like the way it looks. It's no big deal. I wonder if I could change my hair color too. Maybe if I tried hard enough, if I thought real hard about it, I mean. <laughs> that would be exciting, wouldn't it? All I need to do is get trapped up in a strange place <laughs> and then escape, right? Just like you did. I mean, he is using some some amount of knowledge or uh, reason, I mean. I don't know. I mean, it's stupid, but... You know. There's some reasoning there. <laughs> Hello. Hmm? I swear, it's like you're an entirely different person. Haven't changed on the inside. <laughs> I guess you're right. If I look hard, I can still tell it's you. Ugh. How are you, Professor? Did Hanneman make his I will do no harm speech or promise this won't hurt a bit when he asked to study you? Both? I've a bit of Definitely research both. I'd like to perform. Nothing so crass as Hanneman's poking, prodding, and drawing of blood. No, I wish to investigate crest power itself. Crest power must have some kind of limit, right? Lady Rhea says any limits must be the protection of the goddess, but that doesn't quite answer it for me. Hmm. <laughs> That's not much. Someone who doesn't often wear perfume. Huh? Long 
ago, Saint Seros was gifted with a divine revelation from the goddess, as well as incredible power. Is that what happened to you too, Professor? No way! The Professor transformed before receiving any kind of divine revelation, right? Still, I wonder, does the fact that you've changed really mean you've been granted some kind of power? If that's the case, then what sort of revelation can be gained from the ritual? I'm guessing the revelation will just be a gentle reminder to use this new power to save the people of Fodlin. What else is there to say? You don't actually believe we're going to hear the voice of the goddess, do you? You were there, girl. You didn't lose something as a consequence of gaining these powers, did you? Oh, that's a that's a fun question for her to ask. I don't know yet, honestly. Well, sometimes our frail bodies don't do well with excess power, so don't push yourself too hard. Yeah, that's a that's that's good dialogue from her. Very apt. Noble who cares about their personal grooming. Edelgard and Hubert have been busier than usual. Constantly coming and going, in and out of Garrick Mach. Perhaps they are doing something in the Empire. As the legitimate heir of the <laughs> Iyer family, I have not heard anything about it. But if it were significant, I am sure my father would have told me. Oh, I was looking... That's so. Hey, you. Excuse me. You haven't a thing to worry about. You have been gifted the power of the goddess. Furthermore, you have overcome the death of your father, Geralt. And you have destroyed countless of our wicked foes. I am proud. So very proud of who you have become. Thank you. <laughs> Once we so thrilled the about it. the Holy Tomb, all will be well. She was so happy. This is Intr yeah, she needs an introduction to magic. Yeah, that's definitely Aloise's. And that one's for Sabbath for sure, so... He likes to write fables. Hmm. Ah, it is you. I am sorry, but I have a lot on my mind. I would prefer to be alone right now. I'm sorry to say I- Oh, really? I could have sworn that one was yours. Okay. Further, I. This is. Maybe it's Cyril's then? Did I try Cyril? Uh, Captain. Oh, Professor. How long have you been standing there? I didn't see you. I was just sorting through Captain Gerald's belongings. I haven't made much progress. I keep finding things that bring back memories. Clearing out this room of his belongings again, it's... It's not easy. Oh, Professor, I will do whatever I can to I didn't realize he wasn't recruited yet. Is there anybody else? Sedith. I think he automatically joins, but maybe we'll go and talk to him again to see if there is a recruit Captain. option. Oh, I'm pretty I'm sure that he just either Captain joins or Jones doesn't join at certain points I in the stories. Clearing out. Um, there you go. Introduction to magic. Hmm. Professor. Oh, is yours the, fa the Fables book? So happy. Your new hair and eye color suit you well. We make quite the pair. But recently, 
I sense that things are a bit strange between Lady Rhea and my brother. She wants to do something at the Holy Tomb. I do not know what, but... Hmm... Whenever it has concluded, I hope they will return to their friendship, as it has always been. Okay, oh. here we go. No items. Professor, are you positive? Really? Your appearance is due to the influence of the Crest of Flames? Intriguing. Unfortunately, I have found no record of Nemesis's hair and eye color ever changing. However, if that transformation was brought on in part by the power of the Crest, that would be most... Well, I suppose interesting is too small a word. Still, it would be an absolutely exceptional discovery. To know for certain, we must investigate further. So, close off. No. <laughs> what? A full physical is in order, yes? We need to know if this transformation affected you adversely. Don't worry, it won't hurt a bit. Oh, that's not yes, the concern. I I should call Manuela. My apologies. Freaking weirdo. <laughs> The Holy Tomb, huh? I've worked here for years, and this is the first I've heard of it. I mean, it does make some sense. Sort of. Something about it is still weird. I understand now why they'd build the monastery in the mountainous center of Fodlin. Although... When the monastery was built, the kingdom and alliance weren't even around yet. But look how cleverly it was placed right in the middle of the Empire, Kingdom, and Alliance. That's weird, right? Huh? Recently, Professor, I feel as though you've been a bit distant. It's like you're sort of floating above the clouds, separate from other people. And, like, you've got no interest at all in ever coming back down. How can I help? I'm not being distant, so don't worry. Hey, don't worry. I thought maybe I'd ask and see what you'd say. I'm sorry. You're not a noble. Okay, none of those are for you. Um, I do want to check something just really quickly. Well, what are the requirements? What are the requirements for Pegasus? Um, what spear requirement is for Pegasus? I hate that you can't see it from these menus. Like, I want to see the fucking requirements, but you can't see it unless you're in a certification menu. Um, is there somewhere else I can see those requirements? Not really. Because these don't really tell ya. I just want to know if I need to work on Spear, too. To be honest, I cannot keep up with all that's been happening recently. Monica was actually Kranya. Tomas was actually Solon. Who were these people? What about you, Professor? You were a true ally, yes? It's my intention. Not the most convincing answer you could have given. Still, I simply must take you at your word. That reminds me. 
All things considered, this year has been rather terrible. As far as the students are concerned, next month is the last one of the school year. Next month, we will hold the graduation ceremony, though it'll be an understandably subdued affair. This month, we ask that you carry out your duties as best you can to ensure that our students remain calm. button. I see. Hey, Teach, is it okay for you to be out on your own right now? Just please be careful not to topple over again. You scared us nearly to death. Anyway, doesn't Rayo want something from you? Sounds important. I'm glad I'll be there to witness the ritual at the Holy Tomb. I want to see whether or not something happens with my own eyes. A lost... It's probably for Hilda. Perfume bottle? Yeah? Okay. As I was going, I was looking up uh, the requirements. We've already met the flying requirement for the base Pegasus Knight. Flying D. So I should actually be working on Lance. That needs to be at C. So that's actually our bottleneck right now. So we need to do some Lance training. Tales of Chivalry, okay. Ah, professor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, this will take some getting used to. Your hair and eye color are completely Damn, different. Girl. You just don't look like yourself anymore. It's only my appearance that has changed. <laughs> of course, you're right. I'm just being silly as usual. A lot. A lot. Yeah, that's Ingrid. I mean, both of these sound like Ingrid. Okay. I think we've talked to everybody. I am occasionally asked to attend tea parties, but in truth, I do not care for hot beverages. I have considered waiting until it cools to drink, but I fear that would seem rude. <laughs> Just be honest with your host. Okay. Sedith, do you teach spear? I think you like... Hmm... I mean, I really I'm should sorry. know what people teach by now, but I don't. Hanuman, I think you teach sword, if anything. Professor, are you unfortunate that still? It would what? Oh. Okay. Aloise doesn't teach spear. Rhea does definitely teach sword. I don't think she teaches spear at all. Gilbert, I think, teaches axe, but, but not spear. Let me cons I hear that late. She's the. Damn, I think the only other person who taught. Sp oh, you do teach spear. Nice, got a bonus. That's good. Practice yields. Maybe that'll give us just the edge we need to actually qualify for certification. Okay. What? In our butt. Once it will happen. I still do want Sword to get to A. 
All right, but before we do more of that, um, I need to... Okay, actually, we're doing pretty good on that front. Yuri and Constance, and Ignatz. Okay, they're maxed out already. So let's do Yuri and Happy. And then Constance and who? Constance and Balthus. Food just tastes better. I work. Let's do Ignatz and Marianne. No, Ignatz and Leone, they have two more. That I'll fall. Okay. is Anna. She's somewhere around here. Oh, she's the one that's uh, right out here, huh? Miss Mercy and Ingrid over here. Oh, because I didn't come down here. You've been granted this power by the goddess herself. Truly, you must be a very special individual. Maybe Saros transformed before receiving her revelation too. Hmm. I haven't heard anything about that before. Maybe that part never found its way into the legend? It is told that Saros had a revelation, instructing her to use her power for good, and to lead the people of Fodlin to salvation. I wonder what sort of revelation you might have, Professor. Um, I'm talking to Mercedes right now, I think, right? Did you f Yeah. Did you f Alright, let's talk to Ingrid. Maybe, maybe it is One of money. these chivalry items, at least, is for you. No. Yes, that's Okay, so this other one, this Tales of Chivalry, that's probably um uh Ash, right? Hmm, I think I have something for Petra too. I can't even Hey. Hey. Uh, where's Petra? She, no. Oh, she's around this other side, huh? Professor, hair that. I had lost the place. Okay, what else do we have? Afraid of lightning. Hedgehog case. That one's Annie, right? See if that perfume is for Hilda. Uh, is that nuts? If that I'm you don't have never seen Is it for you, Marianne? Long is that nuts? If that I'm you don't have What's this? 
Hm, okay. Let's see if it's Lysithia's. There we go. I don't know who the grounding charm is for. Linhart, are you afraid of lightning? I don't know why you would okay. be. Ugh. How are you? I've a bit of request, Lady Ray. That's not. That's not. Oh, you're the Hedgehog King, so why was I thinking Annie when it's clearly telling me it's a Black Eagles one? <laughs> okay. I don't know why it would be Caspar, but... I thought I... Okay, I guess he's afraid of lightning. I don't remember ever hearing that anywhere, but okay. It is what it is. Professor. Absolutely, girl. Hey, Professor. The students seem to like you. It would seem that way. <laughs> and you're not modest about it. I like Truth that. is the truth. Still, I can't deny that you've got skills. It's a little strange, to be completely honest. I had my doubts, but they were right to make you a professor. I was surprised too, honestly. I'd be suspicious of their true intentions, if I were you. But what's it matter? Seems like it turned out just fine for you. I'll admit, it's unbelievable that you used to be a mercenary. I was a merc before coming here, but... I can't imagine pulling off your fancy tactician act. <laughs> I freeze up near royals and nobles. You're not a fan of nobles? You deal with a lot of nobles when you're a merc. I didn't mind putting my life on the line, but I never liked having to bow and scrape to our noble employees. Fair enough. And that's what I like about being a knight. I get to punch all the nobles I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. But the knights do make a good business partner. I don't believe in the Church of Seros. It makes me a bit of an anomaly among the knights. Rhea took me in, so I became a knight to repay my debt to her. I may be a knight, but it still feels like I'm doing the same things I did as a merc. Who knows, though? Maybe you and I will end up working together again, like a Deirdre. Us knights are a pretty tough crew. I'm guessing you'd run circles around us, though. I'm interested to see where your path leads you. Oh, I forgot to see if uh, we could recruit Seth. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. I think it's just story related on specific routes, whether he joined you or not. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, while I'm here, though, we may as well... Man, why can't you teleport to the other side? Well... Hey, the... I, I mean it, I under... When the... Oh, we already trained with you. I actually need to train with Catherine. Oh my gosh. What? Hmm. In our but what it will happen. You trained with you too? Okay. Wow, I'm like dumb today, huh? Um 
Rhea. We're just gonna keep going back and forth, teleporting all over the place. Really? Excuse me. Further I Nice, barely got that A rank. That's Practice. what I like to see. Ooh, and we got wind sweep. Okay. Do the support. Professor. You got it, Flame. Excuse me, Professor. May I have a moment of your time? Certainly. Ah, wonderful. I was hoping you might enlighten me. About yourself, that is. You see, I happen to be quite curious about you. Oh, why is that? Because there is something different about you. You possess an air of mystery. I could not help but notice when first we met. I am intrigued to say the least. I find it rather difficult to put into words. Were I to wax poetic, I would say you remind me of the sea. Have you ever been, Professor? A few times, yes. The sea is vast, boundless. On the surface, all seems still, yet beneath that stillness, it is unfathomably deep. Within, it teems with life, yet without, one is lucky to glimpse a fleeting shadow. And yet, all one must do is cast a line to grasp hold of all that life. You cannot see it at a glance, but it is there all the same. Um, what are you talking about exactly? About fish, of course. <laughs> oh, bother. I got sidetracked, didn't I? Right. About the sea. During a storm, the once calm waters become mighty enough to overturn even the vastest ships. Not unlike you. You are calm. You carry yourself with poise. Yet you wield great power. My brother was uncertain of you at first. He once referred to you as a youth of dubious, dubious origin. origin. Oh, but please do not think ill of him. He Ominous. is incredibly dedicated to his work. He's very judgmental, isn't he? I love Sedith. He's such a good dude when you get to know him, but like at the start of the game, he's just like he does not trust anybody, man. So surely you understand why it's he would fair. have Like he about just really wants to protect so Flame. Little. I totally Nobody get it, even seems to and know I still age. love the guy. Incidentally, how old are you? I don't actually know, Flame. Uh, wait, you do not know your own age? <laughs> you truly are mysterious. Hmm, looking at you, it is quite difficult for me to determine. I wonder, could you be younger than your own students? And how old are you, Flame? Huh? Who? Me? <laughs> well, I am roughly the same age as the other youths here. Good answer. Convincing. Very convincing. You look younger than the others. Be that as it may, it is simply not the case. <laughs> oh, by the way. I like you Flame. Know I had She's a good character, too. I had actually been considering too. enrolling in the academy for a while. I have endured hard times, but I am so grateful that those very experiences led to my acceptance at the Academy. Oh, my apologies. I am sure you have much work to do. I will not keep you any longer. We must speak again sometime, if that would be all right. Have a lovely day. Okay. That is going to be it for today. We are done, so thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and in the next episode, we are going to be doing some battles and paralogs and stuff. So, I don't know which I'm going to start with, but we'll see in the next episode. So, see you all there.